again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 18th of January, 2019. Article posted by Fox News, written by Stefan Soras, S-O-R-A-C-E. Bolette killed professional writer Mason Lowell will remain on PBR circuit, CEO says. The bull that killed professional writer Mason Lowe during an event in Colorado on Tuesday night will continue to be used on the writing circuit, an official said. We should take that official and put a bucking strap on him and see how he likes it, huh? You know why a bull bucks? They've got a strap around, you know what, and they're pulling on it. That's why they buck. Absolutely insane. Same with horses. They're not bucking because they want to buck. They're bucking because they're in pain. Someone's yanking on their you-know-what. Absolutely cruel and unusual punishment. The bull named Hard Times bucked the beloved 25-year-old star off its back and stomped on its chest, killing him during the Professional Bull Riders PBR shootout event at the National Western Stock Show in Denver. The bull absolutely unintentionally injured and killed Mason, PBR CEO Sean Gleason told the Denver Post. Let's put a bucking strap on Sean Gleason, huh? In this particular case, he had no idea that Mason had been sucked underneath him. The bull did not do this with any malintent. I'm inclined to concur with that, but I told you why they buck. You can see the strap around near the groin area of the bull. It's called a bucking strap for a reason. Despite wearing a protective vest, Lowe suffered a massive chest injury that caused damage to his heart, PBR officials said. Quote, Mason was pulled under his bull during a buck-off and the bull's hind legs struck him in the chest, PBR President Sean Gleason told Fox 31 Denver. The material inside is designed to disperse the weight. In this particular case, Mason took a shot that was, that no vest probably would have helped. Mason was born September 12, 1993, and he died January 15, 2019. Tuesday's competition marked the first time Lowe had ridden hard times, according to the Denver Post. Bulls in a competition can weigh as much as 2,000 pounds. Bull riding fans returned to the Denver Coliseum on Wednesday night to pay tribute to Lowe, who was ranked 18th in the sport worldwide at the time of his death. His bull riding career spanned seven years. The National Western Stock Show and PBR set up a fundraiser to support Lowe's wife and family. The question I have is, what would you do if a bucking strap was tied around your you-know-what, huh? This is an unnecessary, cruel sport to provide entertainment. It needs to stop. That's sort of what I think. I'll attach the link. You look at it. You let me know what you think.